Already Thursday, a short week for a lot of folks. Yeah. But a lot of people already looking forward to the weekend. I'll and tell why you. not, man? The weather's going to be really, really good. It's been a great week weather-wise yeah. anyway. Even with the cloud cover like we had this morning, temperatures have been super pleasant. No wildfire smoke. We're done with the rain for now as well. Let's take you outside. Another pleasant evening, as I mentioned. It's mainly clear and 63 degrees in Portland right now. We made it up to 78 today. That's a couple degrees shy of average, but ballpark, so not a big deal. Hot spots down Rome, Oregon at 86 in Malheur County. Medford right behind 85 third day in a row in the Rogue Valley. Now, there were thunderstorms tonight over in Pendleton, parts of Umatilla County and up into Wallowa County. It's all moving out into eastern Washington now and ending. And I didn't see a whole, whole lot of rain with these storms or showers either. Hepner picked up 1,200 seven inch. That was the most I could find. This is all with the weather system that was offshore yesterday. Finally moved inland. It's exiting out towards Spokane right now. Behind it, there's high pressure building in, and it's going to warm us up for the weekend, for Friday and the weekend. So once that system clears, it's not a massive area of very like hot air, but it's warm enough and dry enough to provide us with some really great late summer weather for what is the second to the last weekend of summer coming up. Well, beginning tomorrow and it's Saturday, of course. Hey, this is Hurricane Hova weakening, still a category three, moving harmlessly out to sea. This is Hurricane Lee, not weakening, strengthening incredibly, as a matter of fact, and moving steadily towards the west northwest. Now it's going to slow down as it makes its track north of the Leeward Islands, which is good. But look at the high resolution close up of this. Just super strong eye wall structure here. Very intense updrafts with that storm, and the intensification is really amazing. I'll show you in just a minute, but look at this. It's now a Category 5, sustained winds of 160, gusting to nearly 200 miles an hour, super low pressure, and it's going to stay a Category 5. It's forecast to anyway into Sunday. Today is Thursday. That's a really long time for a hurricane or a typhoon to maintain that kind of intensity. Even when it weakens, it's still a four as it decelerates as it moves into the southwestern Atlantic. Luckily, staying well north of Puerto Rico and the islands. But there are some concerns with this, and I'll show you what the track looks like beyond Tuesday because it slows down and hangs out down here for quite a while, then begins to accelerate up the east coast the models think. Now, this is very likely going to change. This is next Saturday, a week from a week from uh, day after tomorrow, right? So again, not a, a lot of certainty with this forecast, but it very well may be Atlantic Canada that feels the brunt, if anybody does, along the East Coast. And there is a chance it stays out to sea and doesn't bother anybody on the East Coast of North America. And of course, we hope that happens. But look at the numbers on this. It underwent rapid intensification, 80 miles an hour in 24 hours. That's amazing. Talked about the category and it will slow down, but right now not a threat to the U.S. East Coast. For us, Really, it's great weather. A couple sprinkles on the coast Sunday night or Monday. Warm and dry next week. We may actually get some hotter weather towards the end of next week, maybe back to the upper 80s or so, and even 90s are still possible. 63 right now, freezing level 11,100 feet. So, patchy morning fog and then sunny and 80 tomorrow. We jump up to 86 on Saturday. Sunday still in the 80s. A little cooler Monday, Tuesday, David, but some great summer weather continuing through next week. Definitely a winner. Thank you, Matt. You bet. We'll talk about a play.